Hi there. Today, I want to show you how to use Stata in order to create labels, labels for variables that are qualitative in nature, but that you need to be numeric in order to run statistical analyses on. Now, that sounds like a whole mouthful, but um, I can show you exactly what I mean and why Stata is so powerful when it comes to this function. Don't worry about all this code here for now. Um, you can actually get it from the Bridge Text blog if you like. I've just done it in order to just create a um, mocked up data set that we can kind of look at so I can illustrate what the problem is for you. Um, let's say that you want to understand differences in income as a function of major. And you have three majors in your data set, English, philosophy, and business. And what I've done here is I've very specifically, deliberately turned these into strings here, major, right? So red and stata means it's a string. And a string is what? It's a non-numeric variable. It's like just something that you type in like letters, right? Now, why is that a problem? Well, let's show you. Expanding this window, let's go ahead and try to run an ANOVA on income as a function of major. And guess what? You can't do it because you have a string variable, right? So now you have a little bit of a problem. I'm going to show you two approaches that can really help with this, um, with the labeling. One is to just have Stata do it on its own automatically. Let's say that you took the trouble to actually type in, as I did there, English, philosophy, business, th that, those string values. Now, you can just use this encode command, very handy. Then right after that, the variable, the string variable that you want to change to a numeric variable, comma, gen, and then immediately parentheses, and then the name of the new variable that you want to create, which I'm just going to call major2, and go. So as you can see, major2 shows up right here. And when we get to the edit window, you can see it's actually in blue, which is wonderful because that means that it's uh, it's no longer a string variable. It actually has a numeric value. Now, why is that uh, necessary? Well, let's go back and do that ANOVA again that we talked about. And now you'll see that your model works. So you're able to run that ANOVA because this time you use the version of major that actually didn't have those string values in it, but it had numeric values in it. Right, So that is what you need to be able to do. Now, let's say that for whatever reason, uh, you do not have those string variables like I created, and you, 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 know, you, you need to kind of do this from scratch. How would you do that? It's a little bit uh, more difficult, but I'm going to walk you through it. Uh, basically, start out by considering that you have three values right, for which you need numeric equivalents. The English major, philosophy major, business major, right? One, two, three, easy. So what I've done with this code is I went ahead and created 150 instances uh, and I just turned them into one, two, three. So 50 instances of one, 50 of two, and 50 of three. And then I use this handy command instead of label define and then major three, which is that name that I'm going to be using. And then I designated one as English, two as philosophy, three is business, and then I just issued the command label value major three, major three. So that basically means that this label that I've created is going to be tacked onto this variable that I've also created. I'd use the same name for both of them, which is actually fine. So when you go over here, you'll just see, I, you know, I just duplicated what I already did before. However, Whereas Stata created major two, I created major three myself using that code. And there's really no difference. Now, if I were to go over and do an ANOVA on income and major using the variable I created, major three, I'll get the same results. So now we have a little bit of a messy data set, as you can see going back through it, uh, a bunch of repetition here. So I'm just gonna put in this final code I'm going to drop two of those variables, and I'm going to just reorder it so that we have major here and income here. And again, we have the version of major that has the numeric value, which lets us do statistical analysis on it.